When it comes to space exploration, we sadly are in a spot where we are still very much restricted in where we can go and what we can analyze and so on. As such, NASA and others have been trying to fix that by making new technology, better technology and more versatile craft so that we can extend our hands to the stars and see what they are like. One of the newest pieces of technology to come out of that drive is that of the James Webb Telescope. And while it had some hiccups at first, now it seems to be doing better. Allow us to show you how the James Webb Space Telescope's first view of the cosmos has scientists thrilled for more. Fully Aligned The James Webb Space Telescope's main mirror is fully aligned and performing even better than it had been designed to do, NASA officials revealed in a news conference held virtually on March 16th. The 21.3-foot-wide, 6.5-meters mirror, composed of 18 hexagonal segments, had to travel to space folded. Aligning it into one smooth reflecting surface was one of the main tasks that the Webb Control Team has had to tackle since the giant telescope's launch on December 25th. The alignment process, which involved fine-tuning the positions and inclinations of the 18 segments with nanometer scale precision, has now been completed, officials said. Although that process is not yet complete, the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope mission, the most complex and most expensive such observatory ever launched, is already producing images that take the scientists' breath away. The telescope's performance so far is everything that we dared to hope. Jane Rigby, Webb Operations Project Scientist at the NASA Goodard Space Flight Center in Maryland said in the news conference, the engineering images that we saw today are as sharp and as crisp as the images that Hubble Space Telescope can take but are at a wavelength of light that is totally invisible to Hubble. So this is making the invisible universe snapping into very, very sharp focus. And that can only mean one thing, that once it is fully ready, it'll be good to go to bring incredible detail to space in terms of pictures that it takes. To that end, it's already producing some promising results. The Boring Star when the mirror alignment process started in early January, the ground team pointed the telescope at HD 84406 what the scientists described as a very boring star in our Milky Way galaxy. The star, 100 times fainter than what can be seen with the naked eye, was chosen not for its scientific significance, but purely for its brightness and location. At the beginning of the alignment process, the telescope was delivering 18 individual images of the star, with each of the primary mirror segments acting as a telescope on its own. The image released on March 16th shows a bright shining amber-colored star emanating streams of light across the universe. Even more interesting than the star itself, however, is its background, revealing dozens of specks and dots, each at a distant galaxy that was previously out of reach. These distant galaxies make Webb's first image a so-called deep field. Such photographs, focusing on small sections of the sky, aim to capture the most distant objects in the universe. Deep fields are a specialty of the Hubble Space Telescope, Webb's predecessor. Webb, however, is set to beat Hubble in its ability to peer into the depths. There's no way that Webb can look for 2,000 seconds at any point in the sky and not get incredibly deep field, Rigby said. This is going to be the future from now on. Wherever we look, it's a deep field. Without even really breaking a sweat, we're seeing back in time to galaxies that we're seeing the light as it looked billions of years ago. Randy Kimball, NASA's Web Project Scientist for Integration, Testing, Commissioning, told Space.com in an earlier interview that where Hubble requires weeks to obtain some of its best deep field images, Webb will accomplish the same results within hours. That's much faster, and thus more efficient, and thus able to make things happen at a pace that can further exploration. However, the two observatories don't image the universe in the same wavelengths. Hubble is an expert at visible and ultraviolet radiation, and Webb sits firmly in the realm of the infrared. Specs and Sensitivity The Webb telescope was designed to be up to 100 times more sensitive than Hubble, and that goal has not just been accomplished, but exceeded, NASA officials said in the briefing. We said last fall that we would know that the telescope is working properly when we have an image of a star that looks like a star. Lee Feinberg, Webb Optical Telescope Element Manager at the NASA Goodard Space Flight Center, said in the briefing, Now, you're seeing that image, and I'm happy to say that the optical performance of the telescope is absolutely phenomenal. It is really working extremely well. The performance is as good, if not better, than our most optimistic prediction. No other telescope before has been launched to space with a foldable mirror. To make the mission possible, the engineering teams at NASA and its partner organizations had to develop completely new technologies that had never been flown in space before. As a result, 
the James Webb Space Telescope project faced many delays and cost overruns. The work, however, has paid off, as the telescope has sailed through all of its major commissioning milestones without the smallest hiccup. All of the sleepless nights I've had and the worries that I've had, they are all behind us now. Thomas Zurbuchen, NASA's Associate Administrator for Science, said in the briefing. It's not because there's no path ahead, there's still a mountain to climb. Those important tasks that need to be done. But we are way up that mountain. In early January, the telescope deployed its tennis court sized sun shield in a similarly smooth process. The control teams will now focus on the telescope's four science instruments. First, scientific images are expected to be released in June or July. NASA is keeping the celestial object that will become the first target of Webb scientific exploration secret until then. The mirror. The mirror alignment was accomplished with the help of the near-infrared camera, NURCAM, one of Webb's four scientific instruments. The remaining three are still waiting to open their eyes. In addition to aligning the mirror, the scientists had to wait for the instruments to cool down to extremely cold temperatures close to absolute zero. Since Webb is an infrared telescope and infrared light is essentially heat, any warmth emitted by the telescope and its instruments would dazzle the detectors and make it impossible for them to see the most distant objects in the universe. With all its gear deployed, aligned and cooled down, Webb will be able to see the first stars that sprung up in the nascent universe only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Or at the very least, that's the hope. Another thing that should be noted is that when the first true image of the James Webb telescope came about, it was still incredibly unfocused. They said at the time that it may take months to get that adjusted, but it appears as though they're ahead of schedule and that's a good thing. The Potential of the James Webb The James Webb Telescope is well and truly something that is many years in the making. In fact, the reason that it cost $10 billion to make was not just because it took so long to make, but it took a while to ensure it could do everything that the Hubble could do, but do it much better and quicker. As noted before, it's already completed part of that goal. But now, the goal is to unfold the remaining mirrors and align everything just right so that the telescope can finally peer into the depths of space and reveal some very interesting things. And since this new image shows that it has the ability to do a really deep shot of space, there's no telling what it might discover or illuminate, if you will. That's what has so many scientists at NASA and beyond excited, because there's a lot that the James Webb could let us see in space that we couldn't even hope to grasp before. But how long before those earth-shattering images come through is still up in the air. But at the very least, it's sooner than where we were before. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the James Webb Telescope and how it's finally coming into focus, in more ways than one, just how grand this telescope can be? Do you think that through its deep field view, we'll truly be able to see wonders across the stars? What do you personally want to see image-wise from this craft? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.